I think you've achieved an incredible amount in a very short space of time, and I think you know we're all we should all be very grateful to you because even if it might be a subset of GIST, you're raising awareness for, about rare cancers and GIST in particular. So you know, we owe you a debt of gratitude. But I, I was at a meeting um, a couple of weeks ago in Houston, and we had Dr. Brian Rubin speaking to us, and he was trying to persuade us. This is GIST Support International to raise money for some very, very basic research, which is just to um, get somebody in a lab for a year, trying out every possible combination of factors to grow just cells. And I think this is a common goal that uh, GSI, um, Just Support UK, and Pause Just has. If we could just raise money, because once you have just cells growing, or pediatric just cells growing, then we can do so much more research. Yeah. And I'm, I wonder if there's any, anything we can do on that front. We, we should talk about that. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Offline. <Okay. laughs> Any other? Sorry, they go. Any other? Oh, it does work. Does work now, yeah. Any other questions for Jane? Do you want to send anything in? Uh, I'd, I'd just like to reinforce a couple of things that were, were, were said. Uh, the GIST registry um, pro project um, is fairly well advanced now. Um, the, the registry software um, has been created and is robust. Um, the, where the database will be stored um, is decided. It's going to be in a, um, a non-academic um, place, um, but very secure. Um, <clears throat> several hospitals have already signed up and received training, um, and the installation of the software into individual hospitals is actually underway as we speak. Um, so we're going to take part, Cambridge, um, several other hospitals have already signed up to, to contribute. Um, and I think, as you say, that, that's going to be limited retrospective, but definitely prospective or new gists in all of the, these big centres that see a lot of patients. And we will, because we're doing mutational analysis now prospectively as a routine, <clears throat> um, we will identify new patients. Um, in addition, uh, what, we, what we are hoping to do um, is to do a big retrospective analysis. Um, we have about 150 patients uh, where we've got comprehensive clinical data and mutation testing data. Um, but we've got potentially more like 700 patients we could analyze uh, but we will have to put through a research protocol, get ethical approval, and, and seek samples from all the hospitals uh, who originally sent us patients, yeah. where and the, uh, the tissues, of, tissues, of course, have gone back to those hospitals. So it's going to be a big exercise to retrieve those. But I think that, again, that will generate additional data. Um, we, I know instinctively which patients probably in the past um, had wild type gist from the behaviour of the tumours and um, and their you know age and age and gender, but um, we 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 need to do a lot of work to prove it. Um, but I think you're right. The the consensus is um, working on um, establishing a, a laboratory model. Mm.